All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What's up, everybody? My people, Manhattan, the Bronx, Queens, where I stand now, my homeboy, Brooklyn. You know, I told myself, I'm not going to do a video on this. I told myself, I told myself, I'm not going to do a video on this, but you know, I'm an up and coming YouTuber, so, you know, I'm trying to, you know, get my subscribers. You know, I can't get my subscribers past 22. All right, one boy I had 22, and then YouTube or something took it down back to 15, you know, so I'm trying. So I got to do all the, so I guess I got to do videos on trending topic, trending hot topics, and this is definitely one of them. This courtside Karen shit. <laughs> this country ass, this country ass redneck bitch got into a back and forth with LeBron James. And hey man, look. I don't care what y'all say. She don't look bad to me. Okay, I don't know what y'all think, but you know, hey, she don't look bad. <laughs> okay, she she uh she don't look that bad. But, you know, apparently she, her husband was talking some shit. Her husband was talking shit to LeBron and he said something that got LeBron to snap. I don't know what he said. I don't know what he said. But he said something that got LeBron to snap. And LeBron spazzed out on him. And her. And, you know, and she was like, don't fucking talk to my husband like that. And, you know, LeBron popped off on her. LeBron, apparently, according to her, she said LeBron told her, like, bitch, sit your ass down or some shit. Which, that wasn't for LeBron to do. That was for her husband to do. It was like, baby, sit, your fu sit the fuck down. But you know what? You know what my big takeaway from this all? You know, it's funny. The NBA likes to talk about the mouse at the palace. Let me tell you something about the mouse at the palace. And this may sound wrong, but I don't give a shit. Ron Artez had every right to go up there and whoop that fan's ass. I'm sorry. These fans be way out of pocket. Trust me, I know. I'm a native New Yorker, okay? I've been to Knicks games all my life. I've been going to the Garden for years, okay? I'm not a like, season ticket holder, but I try to go to a Knicks game once or twice every year. Okay? And fans be saying some nasty-ass shit, bro. Fans be saying some... Nasty ass shit. They saw that play on the street. They wouldn't say anything. I'll never forget. I was at a Knicks game with my pops and moms. And, you know, my pops and even my moms were saying some out of pocket shit. They're both diehard Knicks fans. But, you know, were saying some nasty, they were saying some shit. But they didn't never cross the line. But I do remember this is when LeBron was with the Heat. Um, Some Knicks fan said something about LeBron. I was like, what the fuck? I'm a little kid. And I'm a, I'm a well, not so little kid. I'm thinking, what the fuck? And even after the game, on the drive home, my pops and mom was like, you know, that fan was out of pocket. You know what I'm saying? So, NBA, so the NBA need control some of these fans, said the players. But the Mouse at the Palace, look. Look, everybody knows Ron Tess was a hothead. So I don't know why that fan even tried that shit. But Ron Tess had the right to go up there and whoop that fan's ass. The only thing is, though, he, whooped the wrong, he ended up whooping the wrong fan's ass. But the NBA need to control these fans, man. We've seen over the last couple of years there, these owners and these players, these fans just... I remember a couple, especially with Russell Westbrook. I remember the Utah Jazz fans were saying some racist ass shit about Russell Westbrook and his kids, apparently. And uh, fucking, remember a couple years ago with the Denver Nuggets, the first year, the only year with Melo and Paul George. The Nuggets fan hopped onto, the, walked onto the court and tried to get in Russell Westbrook's face, and Russ pushed him back. You know, a couple years ago in the finals against the Raptors and the Warriors, that Raptors player fell into the bench. That person who owned the Warriors. Got a year-long suspension. Like, these fans, they may need to crack down on these fans, man. They're completely out of pocket, all right? But, you know, I didn't want to do a video on this, but I just, I had to, all right? So I'm going to see you all.